It's the subject of many debates at home. Just how do you load your dishwasher properly? Most of us think we know, others probably don't want to admit it, but there's a chance you've been loading your dishwasher incorrectly for years. Doing this can result in broken, corroded, or continuously dirty dishes. Hi, I'm Laura, and this is another edition of The Laura Report. Today, we'll review how to properly load your dishwasher and provide you with some other helpful tips to ensure you get the most out of your dishwasher. To start, let's go over some common mistakes. Our first mistake that everyone makes is pre-rinsing. If you're rinsing your dishes before loading them into the dishwasher, you're not only wasting water, but you're also wasting energy, and you're preventing your detergent from doing its job. Dishwasher detergents are designed to cling to food particles, separate them from the dish surface, and break them down. If you're not providing particles for the soap to cling to, it will attack the materials within your dishes, causing them to wear down and even crack or chip. Moreover, without enough food particles for the detergent to break down, you'll end up with excess residue on your dishes, which creates the spots and that cloudy look. The second most common mistake is putting your glassware over the tines. It's a common misconception that your glassware belongs over the tines in the top rack of your dishwasher. While cups and glasses do belong in the top rack, they should actually be placed between the tines to prevent cracks or chips that can occur while they rattle or bump against each other during your wash cycle. Third is loading your plates on the bottom rack in the same direction. You want your plates on the bottom to all face the center to provide better access for water and soap. Our last very common mistake is overfilling. Just like your washing machine, a dishwasher is less effective when it's crammed full of stuff. If the water and soap can't freely circulate, your dishes will not come out clean. To avoid overcrowding, you can hand wash a few of your items. Now let's review what a loaded dishwasher should look like. To start, we're gonna look at the top rack. The items you would find in the top rack are things like your soup bowls, your coffee cups, glass cups, wine glasses. You can also put some of your larger utensils that don't fit in the basket. Some dishwashers come with a third rack, which is where you house also your silverware and other large utensils. When loading the top rack, it's important to make sure the spray arm can reach all your dishes. I know it's tempting to put your cups on the bottom rack when the top is full, but you must resist. The top rack is specifically designed for glassware and cups. It receives a gentler wash and is the best place for delicate items. Cups should also be stored face down at an angle to allow water to run off the bottoms properly. Your smaller bowls should be placed properly between the tines to help prevent from water collecting. Also, make sure that they're not overlapping at the tops. This can make it difficult for water to reach inside and can cause cracks or chips. Items belonging in your lower rack are things like your plates, pots and pans, and other large dishes like your casserole dishes. When loading, make sure you consider where your detergent dispenser, spray arm, and water jets are. It's not the same in every dishwasher. It's important that the spray arm can circulate fully and the dispenser is not blocked. When you're loading the bottom rack, everything should face towards the center. When loading your larger items like your pots, pans, or casserole dishes, you want to make sure you're loading them to the side or the back of the bottom rack. If you're loading them in the front, it is possible you will block your detergent dispenser and it won't be able to reach the rest of your dishes. With larger bowls, you don't want to limit their water intake by placing them face down. You can place them on their side to receive a much better water flow. Now for the most disputed part of the dishwasher, how to load your silverware. Today's silverware baskets are a little more advanced than the old baskets. The traditional section of the basket comes with cell covers, which spaces your forks, spoons, and knives for you. If your silverware basket does not have cell covers, you'll need to make sure that you're placing them in alternating directions. For safety reasons, always put your knives face down. For your forks and spoons, mix it up. Have some handles facing down, some facing up. The key is to make sure that they don't end up, well, spooning because this will prevent access for your soap and water. A couple other items to note, never load bronze, pewter, copper, cast iron, or wood into your dishwasher. These materials cannot handle the heat a dishwasher can produce. Stainless steel and silver should never be loaded into a dishwasher next to each other. If the two types touch during a wash cycle, a reaction may occur and your silver could pit. Always check that your plastics are dishwasher safe before putting them in. 
If your dishwasher has an exposed heating element, the plastic should be placed on the top rack to prevent from melting. If your dishwasher has a concealed heating element, then your plasticware can be placed anywhere within your dishwasher. All detergent powders, liquids, and packets can clean well, but the detergent must be fresh or it won't do the job. A good rule of thumb is to buy only what you can use in a two month span. So those large Costco sized detergents are a no no. They should also be stored in a cool, dry area of the home. Putting them under the sink can cause your detergent to clump due to moisture. That does it for this edition of the Laura Report. I hope we were able to resolve any lingering questions you might have, or at least settle a few arguments. To request a topic on the next Lore Report, you can go online to factorybuilderstores.com slash the Lore Report. You can also find other Lore Reports on our YouTube channel. See you next time.